hey guys wagwan welcome back to another amazing recipe on how we roll cooks today is my daughter's 21st birthday and we are doing it jamaican style yes she was born 1999 so she decided to do jamaican 90s party so yeah the only thing is we should be in the backyard cooking this nice rich curry goat but anyways yeah if you're new on my channel just go ahead hit that red subscribe button join the family we create amazing recipes over here and for all my old subscribers welcome back to another video all right without further ado let's get into the video so right here i have my goat freshly clean and washed and i'm just gonna move on by cutting up all my seasonings right here i have my scotch bonnet pepper my scallion my thyme and my onions so i'm just gonna go ahead and chop up everything and guys it all depends on your tolerance towards spice but i'll be using one scotch bonnet pepper and when i am almost through cooking this goat i will see if it has enough pepper but you know every pepper is not the same some is hot some is not so we'll see later on down in the video how that goes So now guys it's time to add the powdered seasoning and this is my Tony Sashir all purpose seasonings. If you're in Jamaica you will probably get a whole wide variety of different types of seasoning that you can use when you're cooking your curry goat but I don't have the privilege of that right now where I'm at so I am going in with this season that I normally use and also I am going in with my Italian herbs. This works well when I'm cooking meat so yeah why not. Um, this is like a holy grail in my kitchen guys. You should try it. Also, I'm gonna go in with my masala and if you are used to masala, you know that you can't add too much. It gives your curry a nice flavor, but if you use too much, it's bitter. So I'm just going in with a pinch. Yeah, this is good enough for me and also I am going to go in with my curry. I'm also going to use some more curry when I'm when it's time for me to cook but i am going to marinate it with some curry as well and then i'm gonna go in with some cajun seasonings that's all i'm gonna be using for right now so now guys after adding all my powdered seasoning i am just gonna add a little bit of oil and that is to help the seasoning to stick to the meat just a little bit just to add some moisture while it's marinating if you understand what i mean so yeah i'm just gonna rub that up real good and proper yes and then i'm gonna put it in a ziplock bag and allow it to sit and marinate So now that we have that all packaged up, we're just going to put it on the refrigerator to continue to marinate, okay? So guys, I'm just going to add some oil to my pot. It's time to cook my curry goat. You don't know. And I'm just going to add two tablespoons of curry to my oil. And you want to have this on medium heat guys not high heat because we don't want to burn the curry not because it's called burning the curry it's just a process to you know pre-cook the curry and i'm also going in with some garlic in there as well and i'm just going to allow that to simmer on low heat before i add my goat So as you can see, my curry is nice and rich. It's not burnt up. 
yeah so i am just gonna go ahead and add my goat meat and i'm gonna stir it up and allow everything to incorporate nicely so now after stirring up everything guys i'm just gonna cover down my pot and allow it to simmer on medium heat so that it can produce its own liquid So as you guys can see, it has started to produce its own juice and I'm just going to allow it to cook in its own liquid until, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'm going to turn up back my stove and add my water. So guys, not everyone like their meat pressured. So if you are going to be using a pressure cooker that's fine this is a moment when you would remove it from the pot from your dutch pot and add it to your pressure cooker add your water cover it down and let it pressure but i'm gonna be cooking mine slowly step by step you know adding my water as i go so the first thing i'm gonna do is go in with a bowl of water and i'm gonna constantly do this i'm just gonna allow the first set to boil down and then add another bowl until my meat is almost cooked you know to my suit then i'm going to add my potatoes and my carrots and some more seasonings so guys i have tasted it it doesn't need any more powdered seasoning i'm just adding my potatoes my carrots more scallion thyme pepper and i am going to you know just add it like half a scotch bonnet pepper not a lot because you want your curry goat to have a little spice So guys, we're going to put this on medium heat so that the potatoes can have time to cook, you know, and give your curry goat a nice semi-thick consistency. We don't want any watery curry goat around here. All right. So the potatoes are going to give it that nice rich sauce. This is what I'm talking about, guys. You see that? Yes. You know, it's Christmas. Christmas is coming. And I know you guys are going to be cooking your curry goat. Drop it in the comment section. Let me know if this is how you prepare yours. If not, that's fine with me. This is how I do it. And it comes out great all the time. Now I'm just testing to see how tender it is and this is exactly how i like it i don't like to be fighting with my food when i'm eating right so this is fine for me Jasmine, you're tasting curry goat for the first time. What do you think about it? It was delicious. Delicious? I don't think okay. you did, no. I did. Oh. <laughs> what did you eat? What did you eat now? That was the first thing I, I ate. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's my 21st okay. birthday I'm celebrating. Whatever. <laughs> you're like 50. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 21st birthday. Thank you. I will say thank you, Aragon. So, guys, remember when you cook your curry goat Christmas, don't forget your friends and your yeah. neighbors. You know, share a plate for them. All right, and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to hit the to hit the thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribers yet. If you have made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you for doing that. All right, thank you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.